Today's been a great day for news because even more information and cards and all sorts have been leaked for the 25th anniversary set from Pokemon and we're going to be running through all of it in today's video. Let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. And uh, today, today is a good day. I'm super excited because it's been an incredible day for news for the 25th anniversary set from Pokemon because we've got one leak in the morning of a bunch of Pikachu cards that are gonna be coming in those sets. But then later on in the day, guys, we got leaked all the Char, we got that Lance's Charizard V card has now been shown to us along with like the Dark Sylveon and a ton of other ones. And we're gonna be looking at all of them. I'm also gonna be giving you a, guys a brief explanation how the Japanese set will stack up to the UK set because a lot of the leaks seem to come out in Japan when it comes to card artworks over the UK first so it's just good to know how the two actually merge together so I will run through all of that as well but before we do anything guys if you are new here and you enjoy all things Pokemon then do consider dropping a subscribe here on the channel and giving this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you helped it and you had some fun it'd be great okay so I want to quickly run through how the 25th anniversary set in Japan is going to stack and marry up to to the 25th anniversary set we're going to be getting over here in the UK celebrations because they're pretty much identical it's just in Japan they've divided theirs out slightly differently compared to ours and it's quite good to notice when you're looking at the Japanese leaks because then you can kind of gauge where those cars are going to crop up on products and subsets and etc etc over here in the UK so in Japan there's going to be three sets the S8A this is the reimagined set that's going to be contained within these booster packs so you're going to have like that Mew in there there's going to be a flying and a surfing VMAX Pikachu contained within this set here guys then there is the S8AP set this booster pack right here which is going to have the reprints of classic Pokemon cards like that Venusaur the birthday Pikachu the Charizard all of those classic 25 cards that we know are coming the gold star umbrian they're going to be contained within that booster pack then there's one additional set in japan that's kind of thrown a bit of a co curveball to everyone is the s8 ag golden subset as as they're calling it on here now this is a 15 card subset two of those cards are definitely in this box the question is where are the other 13 cards from this set going to be and what are they are they going to be what promo cards because we've got a bunch of promo cards on the front of collection boxes here in the uk are they going to be as part of this little mini set is this the promo card set i'm not sure at least no one really knows about that so there's a lot of theories to where they're included maybe all 15 will pop up in this box uh, but you think they'd maybe list more in the product information in full 15 in there right so we don't actually know where those additional 15 cards are going to go now over here in the uk it's slightly different because uh, we only have one booster pack we don't have the two and our booster pack contains all of the cards other than promo cards so we've got a 45 card main set that's going to include those reimagined cards the flying the surfing pikachu the mew and stuff like that is going to be part of that main 45 card set we then have an additional subset contained within the same booster pack, which has got all those classic reprinted cards, like the Gold Star Umbra and the Charizard, the Venusaur. So that's where those 25 cards are contained, whereas obviously in Japan, it's a separate booster pack. Now we obviously have promo cards as well here in the UK, and a lot of them have got leaked today. Anyway, I hope that exp helped explain that. But now I think it's time to go and check out some of those leaks. And uh, it's really, really, I'm, I'm super excited for these guys. So here we are guys, here are those leaked Pikachu cards and uh, there are some absolutely stunning artwork we're going to have a closer look in a second but the eagle eye viewer may have actually noticed that they are all in japanese well even though the 25th anniversary set actually comes out in the uk before they release their version of that set over in japan japan tend to leak the card artworks way before we do here in the uk and uh, let's let's just work our way through so we have a reimagined base set pikachu card right here absolutely gorgeous what is really cool about this and actually a friend of mine Burkeeper Toby actually pointed it out is that fans of Pokemon have been doing this style of card for ages and actually drawing and making them themselves where they'll take an, an, any Pokemon card and they'll do a giant painting off the side of it well Pokemon have just straight up just copied what the fans have been doing and there's nothing wrong with that because this card looks absolutely gorgeous we then have that surfing Pikachu V card a reimagined so this card and the one beforehand are going to be included in the 45 card main set over here in the UK you've got the flying Pikachu now before I show it anymore there is a website Poke Beach that has done a really cool thing here and they've put each card against its representative like 
original card and how they've reimagined it and they've done such a good job about reimagining these cards i absolutely love it we've then got probably two of the most popular choices so far i've seen a lot of people going mad for them the v max surfing pikachu and the v max flying pikachu they do look really really cool i love the blue pop now there's actually an easter egg uh in an old card a garbador v max card well not that old but a, a previous card because if you look closely at the belly of the Garbodor VMAX uh, card, you'll notice that plane and that boat are featured on that card. So it seems like Pokemon were just giving us a hint into these cards that were coming up, guys. Well, we now know that there's going to be a birthday Pikachu. And I love this because, again, they've kept it so true to the original. I love that they are pretty true to their word with this set. So this 25 card mini set, the classic collection, that's gonna have like that Umbreon Gold Star on the base set Charizard. They really are keeping the designs very true to what they look like at the time of coming out, which is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be interesting to know how many of you out there actually go and write your birth, uh, write the name of whoever's birthday it is up on the card, because I know a lot of people did it when they originally came out. I have a funny feeling not many of you are actually gonna write on these cards uh, when you manage to pull them uh, in this set, that's for sure. Uh, you then have this, guys. This is the Golden Pikachu card. This is going to be inside the Premium Elite Trainer Box. We're going to get Hero in the UK. You know that, like, £120 box that everyone wants? Well, this is going to be one of the cards in that box, along with those two gold-plated commemorative cards of the base set Pikachu and base set Charizard. And uh, I think this is absolutely stunning. It's going to be interesting to see what it looks like when we put the 25th our 25th anniversary like as in the uk version of the 21st 25th anniversary badge personally i actually prefer this badge to the pikachu face i think it's got a real it's got a real adult look to it i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys uh we've then got another pikachu here this is part of the subset this saag set over in um japan so is this going to be part of the main set here in the uk potentially this is an interesting one for me. They're reprinting the base, uh, the VMAX Pikachu. Now, of course, it's a very iconic Pikachu card. You know, like people went absolutely nuts for this card when they released it. The crazy thing is now you can actually buy uh, this card on eBay for like under 20 quid now. So if anyone's looking for it, head to eBay. You can pick it up on the cheap right now, guys. It's strange that they're redoing this card and they're actually putting it into the set. So are we going to see this card again in our 45 card main set? Because we know it's not a promo card over here in the uk because we know what all our promo cards are now we're gonna like i said we're gonna look at those promo cards in a minute so it's an interesting choice to reprint this card actually uh, another reprinted interestingly this will be a hollow even though it may not look it now because every single card across all of these cards in the 25 card set are hollow in some way shape or form another v pikachu this is actually a promo card over here in the uk and then this guys is a very cool card again it's going to be a promo card here in the uk and it's the v union pikachu it's got 25 different pikachu artworks from 25 different artists and some of you guys out there can actually name every single artist just by looking at this i think that's absolutely nuts but i love this look at that little face that little pikachu face in the middle it's absolutely stunning and this one's looking so derpy there so here we have those promo card leaks that came out earlier today guys so we've obviously known for a while what the actual boxes themselves are going to look like well now we know what the promo cards are going to look like and let's kick start with that dark sylveon v now honest opinion for me i'm a little bit disappointed with this card i expected it to have a lot more of a neo vibe to it like the light and dark cards and the inspiration it to me seems like they've just taken a v card and slapped the word dark in front of it they haven't really gone down a massive i don't think it looks like a massively dark card there's nothing too sinister looking about it or anything like that but i know a lot of you are still going to go mad for it and i absolutely love this card that's for sure you then have the Charizard, the Lance's Charizard V collection box. And there is the card that you're going to get inside it. I'm obviously super excited to get my hands on this product because it's a Charizard. But I did hope that it would have more of a original Lance's Charizard vibe. Maybe that's a bit of a theme of what I'm going to be saying about these products, of course. But no, I, I feel like it could have been a lot more hand sketched and stuff like that. And had been more, more of a throwback. It's obviously just a completely new card. Again, with just a trainer chucked in it. Yes, it, 
it still is really cool. I don't get me wrong. I really, really do want to own it, but I feel like they could have gone a lot further with that card. We then have the Dragpult Prime card. Uh, really, really popular this because Prime cards are just popular. That gold and silver border, people absolutely love them. Uh, I think it's just that heart gold, soul silver vibe. It just brings back a lot of memories for a lot of people. So people are going to go mad for that product. And you also do get a giant promo card of it in the back as well. We then have this, the VMAX Pikachu figure collection collection box and it comes with a very special pikachu card uh, this is a particular card that a lot of you guys are gonna go nuts for because everyone's been wondering where this card is so it came out in japan as a promo and it just didn't come out over here and as you can see the card number of it is swsh062 we're actually on like 120 odd or whatever promo cards now and this card just never came out and it was obviously because they were holding it back to release it in this 25th anniversary set and it's going to be a promo so it's a card that should be quite achievable for a lot of people to get their hands on assuming that pokemon print the hell out of this set like they should do so hopefully a lot of you guys will be able to get hold of that because i know it's a very popular one and one a lot of you guys like because i think in japanese that card's going to set you back like 250 quid but obviously if you manage to get hold of this product right here guys it's going to cost you 50 pound for the box and you're going to get the packs in it plus you're going to get hand on that pro pre uh, hug me i think that's what everyone calls it the hug me pikachu card in there along with another pikachu v promo card there then this particular box and i love this i think it's so cool looking so this is the v union box it's got those four v union cards in it but you also get the cards in a non-cut up version uh that must have been very easy for the printing company we'll just print load and then just take half of them and run a guillotine across like all four of them now i assume the reason for this guys is the four cut up versions uh the v union cards are playable whereas a jumbo card is not playable now it's going to be interesting to see how some of you guys decide to store those cards are you going to get yourself like a four card binder so you don't mess up the pattern or are you going to just be like no nope, screw it and they need to be in order of one two three wide and then four underneath and also grading wise it's going to be interesting to see because i'm assuming a lot of people out there are going to want to grade a lot of these cards the question is are people going to grade this card um as like a jumbo card like do you think grading companies will actually put all four together and put them in a jumbo grading slab or do you think there'll be four individual slabs It'd be a bit annoying having four individual slabs of this card right and huge gaps between them maybe just go and grade the giant promo card instead of this one guys then we have this and actually this has probably got to be one of my favorite promo cards the zakian level x now we've seen what this card's already going to look like anyway uh it got released in portuguese because brazil released it guys but it's cool to see what it looks like in english for sure and the thing that's interesting about this box to me though is the fact that it's got a surfing pikachu pin on it yet there's no surfing pikachu promo within it and actually at this point guys out of everything i've showed you what product has been your favorite and it could be one of those pikachu cards from earlier or it could be one of these collection boxes i'd love to know your thoughts on it guys let me know in the comments down below for me my favorite card is probably gonna be the base set pikachu the reimagined one i think that's absolutely stunning a really really cool concept for it and also the v union one i just think that's really fun and cool and all those artworks is absolutely awesome so there you go guys there's all the leaks for now i no doubt we're going to get some more over the next coming uh, couple of weeks or so so do keep an eye out for them i'll be trying to get content out on them as soon as we know more and try and bring you guys some more information around this set but other than that guys if you did enjoy the video do give it a big thumbs up and drop a subscribe here on the channel stay safe and i'll see you in the next one peace